Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in again today. I'm here to chat about my May favorites. It's been a while since I've done a video, so I wanted to run through some of the things that I've been loving lately. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I've been loving is Tarte's BB Tinted Treatment. This is something that I used in my 5 minute face video and I just absolutely love it. Review to come, um, but the thing that I love most about it is that it has a really great matte finish. Um, which is really nice for people with oily skin like me. So I will do a full review of this, but really been loving that. I've also been loving my Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. I actually finished this up this month, um, so I'm all out, but absolutely love this foundation, especially for the spring and summertime. It gives your skin a really nice glow um, with also having a nice matte finish at the same time. So just love this, super easy to apply, a nice light to medium coverage. It's very refreshing, has a great smell. Just really, really love this stuff, absolutely adore it. Um, I've also been really loving this new scent that I bought. It's the Coach Signature, um, and it's just a very floral scent. If you like floral scents, I would highly, highly recommend this. Um, it's just your standard, tons of different flowers mixed together kind of smell, but it's very elegant and classy and um, fresh, so highly recommend that as well. Um, another thing I've been loving is sort of the green eye trend, um, whether that be through a liner or a eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow I've been really loving is the uh, 24 hour infallible eyeshadow and I believe this is by yeah, L'Oreal, make it look like this. Really love this eyeshadow formula, they're so buttery and creamy, very very pigmented and this is in the color hmm. 337 Endless Sea. So it's really pretty, got a shimmery kind of blue-green um, vibe to it, but really love that for summer. There's just something about that kind of turquoise eye look that is really trendy and fun right now. If you don't feel like going for a uh, shadow all over the lid, you might want to try doing a liner. And two of the liners that I really like, the first one is called Undercurrent by MAC. This one is really pretty green, kind of that same color as the shadow I just showed you guys. And then the other one that I really like, which is a little bit more blue, is by Stila. It's the Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Peacock. And there's Peacock. It's a little more bluey, turquoisey. So Undercurrent and Peacock. Um, just love these to use on the upper lash line, just to give you that little peekaboo of green for summer if you don't want to do a full shadow of green on your lids. Um, the other color of this infallible L'Oreal eyeshadow that I've been loving, and I might have mentioned this before, is 892 Amber Rush. Um, and it's like just a gold, amber, kind of brown color. And for me, this is kind of my go-to everyday eye shadow. Like if I just want a neutral eye with nothing too crazy going on. Absolutely love this stuff. Um, and if you have green eyes, I feel like it kind of makes your eyes pop a little bit as well. Another thing I've been loving is Mally's um, Starlight Waterproof Liner. I actually got this for free in a kind of um, QVC thing that I bought. There was a bunch of samples inside. Uh, and this is in the color Espresso. This aligner I just love because it's so creamy and smooth and easy to use. And I also just love the color because it's a really dark brown, so it looks almost like black but without being harsh. Black liners a lot of the time look very harsh on me, so I tend to gravitate towards those really dark browns. Um, so if you're looking for a good liner, I would highly recommend Mally. It's really easy to use, um, really pigmented, it doesn't um, budge, it's very long wearing. I've also been loving the MAC Luster Drops. I have never used these before, um, but I was really excited to try these out. This is in the color Pink Rebel. It's kind of got a goldy pink kind of shimmer to it. These are very pigmented, so you don't need to use a lot. Like literally one drop is probably enough. Um, and I just use it right along my cheekbones, and I like to use it with my Real Techniques stippling brush just to kind of blend that out. But um, go ahead and swatch this for you guys. Hopefully you can see it. It is definitely got that pinky kind of golden glow, which I really like for my skin tone um, for summer. So that is the luster drops there. Obviously, when you blend it out, you know, it starts looking a lot more natural. 
but um, if you like that kind of peachy pinky gold glow, I would highly recommend the Luster Drops in Pink Rebel. Um, I think that they might be limited edition from MAC, but really any Luster Drop, just that kind of liquid highlighter concept, I really love, especially for summer. Um, finally, I wanted to hit on two regrets this month. The first one is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. Um, I was really excited to try this, and quite frankly, it is a very clumpy and thick formula and just did nothing for my lashes. It made them very spidery, and I also found it was very difficult to wash off, which I hate mascaras that are not waterproof that are so difficult to remove. So I would not recommend this. Um, if you like it, you know, that's great for you. But for me, it's a very wet, clumpy, kind of spidery formula. Um, and also the brush I didn't think really did very much for separating my lashes. It kind of made them all like stick together in these like spikes. So I would not recommend the Rocket. Um, and then my final regret is the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. And I had read really good things about this. So I was excited to try a drugstore BB cream and let me just say, I was not a fan. It um, comes out white and it has these like little beads of pigment in it that supposedly, you know, match your skin tone, which really for me, they didn't match at all. And they just created this really horrible line. Um, so it's white when you first put it on and then as you rub it in, it starts to turn a color. So I just don't really like that concept. I didn't like the color. It didn't give me really any coverage didn't really give me any skin benefit that I would expect from a BB cream. It literally just like tinted my face this really gross orange color. You could still see all my imperfections, all my blemishes, all my freckles through. It just didn't do anything for my skin at all. So uh, really would not recommend this. If you like it, I would love to hear about why. Um, I don't know. Just for me, very orangey looking, not enough coverage for my liking, and just didn't really do anything to perfect my skin. So. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for tuning in, and um, we'll be hopefully seeing each other again soon. I know that I've been really bad about uploading videos, so hoping to get back on the horse and um, start to film more. So thanks so much for tuning in, and uh, catch you guys later. Bye.